crazy, yo. People who came forward to talk about their experience. I'm sure that's how it is. All right, let's get it on. No nope. streamers that perfectly represent the seven deadly sins, and we'll be talking about all of them, starting with pride. Common synonym. All right, so off rip. Who was that, bro? They, I, they need to be tarnished from existence. Sims for the sin of pride are egotism, conceit, vanity, pride. and narcissism. All of these words are perfect descriptors for the sad situation of the streamer Neon. Neon, Neon. whose real name is Rangesh Mutama, created his YouTube channel on May 6, 2016. His channel I, I, originally I, focused on gaming it, content around the boy. NBA 2K TK. series. Watching his early videos, it's clear that Neon was a normal kid who had a real passion for creating content. Jesus! He almost daily I don't play 2K. Of his channel. But this consistency still wasn't enough to make him stand out, so he switched from making videos to streaming. This switch to streaming, along with the release of Fortnite, took Neon's live viewers from single digits yeah. all the way to yeah, yeah, Fortnite like but created everybody. But apparently didn't satisfy Neon's prideful desires, as in December 2019, he posted a series of four videos that would be a stain on his online reputation forever. I... The series began with Neon's brother talking about how Neon was in the oh, hospital. It's gonna be clickbait, huh? Neon reiterated this point in the following video video saying he was about to enter surgery in which he would most likely not survive. The series concluded with a video titled He's Gone, which seemed to imply that Neon had passed away. Then, after a dozen Best Moments videos were posted on his channel, Neon posted a new video alleging he had miraculously survived. At the time, this seemed like concerning news, but when you consider that Neon is obviously not in critical condition or even in a hospital in any of the videos he posted during the ordeal, it becomes clear this was just a publicity stunt. Bro. Okay, bro. Like, I we've all seen clickbait. We've all seen like the Corey Kenshin dying stuff, or 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 because you know that guy's not had been here for ten thousand eons. But, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. That is that is outrageous. Like, I, that's Alia level level clickbait, bro. Like, that's not good. That's Alia level clickbait. But From this, this point on, clickbait. Neon would slowly but surely. Continue to ramp up his clout chasing stunts and the level of his own arrogance. More recently, he faced himself getting jumped twice, all to feed his never ending desire for relevancy. In terms of internet success, Neon Sin is actually propelling him to stardom. This is definitely not the case for our candidate for Who Lust, who Sin caused him to leave the internet and never come back. Lust is usually thought no, of I as don't, uncontrollable sexual desire, especially when you sacrifice something important because of it. In Yo, don't that remind you of anybody, Brayden? You know, like, just imagine, just imagine this was a dog and this was a redhead. Yeah, that, or a cat. Sorry, this is a cat and this is a redhead. That's all you need to know, man. Streaming world, there may not be any person better to that guy is, is gay. That is not me and Clarence. Shut up. Lust than Jakishi. Jakishi, whose real name is Demetrius, was a Minecraft streamer. There's no way he's black, bro. He's not black. He's not black. His name is Demetrius. Demetrius <laughs> He not helping our case bro who had been grinding for almost a decade without gaining any kind of significant traction in viewership. His journey Whoa. would take a seemingly positive turn when I'm sorry, but uh my good sir Are you wearing cat ears? Are you wearing cat ears, bro? You know I shut up, Braden. Are you wearing cat ears, my boy? Oh, Lord. Dream heard about this young grinder and decided to raid his stream. After the dream raid, Jakishi went from under 50 viewers per stream to consistently averaging in the hundreds. But the even better news came a few months later when Jakishi was invited to Dream's Minecraft server, the Dream SMP. This was great news because joining the Dream SMP was don't think we <laughs> was pretty much a guaranteed ticket to success in the online Minecraft world. It really Although was. Although this bro. increased exposure had some unforeseen consequences for Jakishi, Stop showing mainly that the dozens of stories that would begin to surface, which made it clear he was addicted to grooming children. There were <laughs> addicted is crazy, yo. People who came forward to talk about their experience.
that that says 40 people doesn't it that 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 says 40 people bro that that says 40 people don't say real Braden. you're shut up Jikishi, and it would take far too long to read all of them, but all the stories essentially share a similar pattern that goes like this. Jikishi meets a 12 to 13 year old girl in a Discord. 12 to 13? 12 to 13? <coughs> 12 to 13? <coughs> it making me cough, bro. Server. The conversation quickly turns NSFW, with Jikishi pressuring them to continue talking even if they are uncomfortable. Throughout the conversation, he continuously asks for reassurance that the girl will never tell anyone about their quote unquote secret relationship, but fortunately for everyone, some of the girls didn't listen to him. Thank gosh. Here's one thing you need. Uh, no. Um, yeah, thank gosh, bro. That, that guy's a freak. For Dream to find out about the accusations, and then subsequently remove Jikishi. Dimitri. That's really how you spell my bro's name. Jikishi from the That's not my brother. Like, that's not my brother. That's not my brother. Career forever. Even though it's doubtful Jikishi would have been able to maintain any kind of audience after he was exposed, he did make somewhat of a smart decision to go completely silent on all of his socials to prevent further damage. All right, all right. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? She. Many of you have pointed out that the sin of gluttony doesn't just apply to food. Gluttony it can be indulging in anything to the point of excess or destruction. The streamer Just a Minx is a sad. I do know who that is. Of this destruction. Just a Minx. I do Just know her. I follow her on Twitter. Is Rebecca is an Irish. I follow her on Twitter. On the Just Chatting genre of Twitch. The Just Chatting genre, huh? Yeah. Right. She began um, creating content when she was 12 years old, and over the years, she developed a small. a loyal audience this small audience would explode when she was featured on the popular twitch game show love her host but around the time of her blow up rebecca's new viewers would notice some strange things about her behavior on stream the most obvious was her frequent emotional breakdowns which resulted in her screaming at the camera these breakdowns oh. would almost always be paired with copious amounts of alcohol consumption the alcohol oh. consumption behavior began to create a sad cycle the more alcohol minx consumed the more insane her behavior became and the more viewers would stop by to observe the train wreck but like most train wrecks on the internet they aren't she need a bit of help bruh she need a bit of help she she like desperately need help that's Sustainable not okay for long periods of time which is evidenced by rebecca's statistics on the bright side rebecca has indicated that she is on the road to recovery from her okay state, okay 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 about our candidate for envy this is that nadia bruh yeah, is that Nadia, bruh? Is that Nadia, bruh? Oh my god, is that Nadia, ain't it? Oh my gosh. Sin of Envy is thought of as having extreme jealousy of the achievements and blessings. Everybody thought she was cheating, bro, and you were. streamer who built their career on top of Envy as effectively as Nadia. To understand how she accomplished this, we have to go all the way back to the beginning of It's Nadia's like 2020, journey. bro. Nadia began streaming in early 2021. Yeah. She oh, 2021. She viewers for a few months. Her game of choice was Call of Duty. Call of Duty. She was really good at it, and then everybody thought she was cheating. At. Nadia also seemed driven to break the stigma that female gamers can't play at the same level as their male counterparts this was something that she frequently talked about during her stream is leading nadia to gain a decent amount of traction on twitter Boosting why is my computer lagging from 10 to 100 a female gamer who was unapologetically committed to being technically good at a video game was a breath of fresh air to the viewers on twitch who became part of nadia's growing community but nadia's mission would also prove to be a double-edged sword because her arrogant right. attitude about being a quote-unquote girl player who was better than the guys led people on the internet to examine her gameplay and find oh. some very suspicious activity there were multiple moments where her crosshair unnaturally snapped onto her enemies in ways that wouldn't be physically possible with human reaction times. For example, there's a moment where she sees an enemy parachuting in from above and locks onto an enemy that wasn't even visible on screen. Nadia has pretty ineffectively tried to defend herself from these cheating allegations, claiming any discrepancy found in her gameplay is just a glitch. Nadia has also taken a nah. bizarre approach of saying that criticism levied against her is sexism because men don't like that a girl is better than they are at their favorite game. Even I mean, I will admit she is right about that. Like, like most men don't like that uh i don't really care personally but 
but who am I to say, you know, I'm also a 6'4 guy that drives a Hellcat and owns four mansions, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, I understand what she's saying, but like, then again, bro, you were definitely cheating. Like, <laughs> it was no doubt about Even it, bro. Nadia's public image and I'm not going to front, bro. I'm not going to front. Gosh, that is a weird stat line. I'm not going to front, bro. Like, Nadia wasn't like to begin with. I'm going to keep it a stat. At least the side of social media I was on, she wouldn't even like to begin with, bro. Twitch viewers like, are it was weird. The uptrend, which may be proof that tapping into a sin like Envy can actually be beneficial for your online career. Despite her about your mentality, image, with all of Nadia's income sources, we can confidently say she brings home a lot of profit at the end of the day, which is the complete opposite of our candidate for Wrath. Wrath Who is, is that? As uncontrollable anger, and there is no streamer that represents uncontrollable anger better than Bossman Jack, whose real name is Austin Peterson. Austin is different from our previous Wrath candidates in a pretty significant What in the butt is he playing? What in the butt? Way. Wrath is driven by a sad and crippling addiction, gambling. Austin began his journey oh, in streaming and button. gambling in 2019 on the classic uh, video game RuneScape. In this RuneScape? game, you would quickly get a reputation as a scammer by taking massive loans of RuneScape's in-game currency, then betting it all in duels. As time okay. went on, Austin became unsatisfied with betting with fake money, so he decided to start Bet streaming money. online gambling. From the moment after making this decision, Austin became stuck in a perpetual cycle of win, lose, repeat. When he wins, ah. Austin looks extremely happy, jumping up and down with excitement. But the interesting thing about this is it's not the money that's making Austin happy. It's the it's winning. The, winning yeah. the evidence for this is that Austin will never just end his stream after winning. He always continues until he's back to zero. The next yeah, that's 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 me. I well, not the gambling part, of course, but the winning part. I love winning, but when I and I will keep going until I lose. And when I get when I lose, I'll get mad. Like that's a that's a thing, bro. And it's so it, I get what he's doing, but like gambling, bro, that's so dumb. Next it's stage in the cycle is very lose. dumb. The losing stage is marked by some of the most intense. Oh, next stage in the cycle. Yo, look at this wall. Gosh, look at this thing. Oh, bro, you Go need help. Lose. The losing stage is marked by some of the most intense wrath I have ever seen from a content creator on the internet. Austin will make holes in his wall, destroy his door, and even physically. What in the world? What in the content <laughs> creator on the internet? Austin will make holes in his wall, destroy his door. What the f How do you even get to that point? That's the flight level stuff, bro. Nah, because I know y'all be seeing flights do it, but that's a flight level stuff. Even physically harm himself after losing. The especially sad thing about this situation is the fact that his viewers enjoy these rage sessions, creating a horrible cycle of incentivizing Austin. I've been to very well. With everything uh, we know about Austin, it's clear my he life is so a good. Creator by I lied. Means. It's not so. That while great. his mistakes are significant, they are also understandable. Our next candidate is extremely savvy, which makes her sin complete. Completely baffling. Pokemon feeds would be going crazy over this. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Greed but anyway, as the intense and selfish desire for more than necessary. Our candidate. So what would Pokemon streamers on this list? Because she's kept up a perfect image, but her desire for more led her to make a foolish business decision that may have potentially destroyed her viewers' trust forever. Pokemon, one of the most popular. We all know why she's popular. Let's just let's let's not even deny it. We know why she's popular. I need to get my soundboard back. That's what I'm missing. I'm gonna work on that after this. I watch this video, but yeah, we all know why Pokemon's really popular. Uh, we all really know why Pokemon's really popular, and I and I stand with it personally. I I. <clears throat> uh, hmm. uh, 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 look at the time. Uh, yeah, Twitter.com. Good Streamers though. on the internet saw the success of other influencer products like Feastables, Prime, and Kylie Cosmetics. Almost definitely, bro. Of her own, she 
she decided to create her own consumer packaged goods product, which led her to launching Mina Cookies, a company that provided a supposedly healthier alternative to mainstream cookie brands. All Everything right. seemed like it was going according to plan until the price of her cookies were revealed at $7 for a small- Oh, <laughs> I ain't paying that much for cookies, bro. I am not, no, bro, I'm not paying that much for cookies. Like, that's not happening. So, you know what? No, I'm not paying that much for cookies, but, you know, that's cool too, I Bad. guess. This price isn't as crazy as you may think, because there are plenty of premium healthy cookies on the market, which that's cost true. a similar amount. What the internet discovered is- That's like paying $12 for a slice of pizza, Sabaros. Yeah, uh, but, um, she, her bag off cookie, real, bro, like, I want, I want some cookies. Is that these? Uh, but yeah, tomorrow's be making me pay for, like, $12 to slice. Like, be so for real. Um, take my glasses off. Um, white labeled copy of nearly identical cookies with a 225% markup on the price. The only difference between the recipe of Pokimane's cookies and the other ones is an insignificant amount of vitamin D. The drama likely would have died, but Pokimane made the terrible decision of insulting the section of her audience that couldn't afford her cookies. Oh my god, no. dollars for cookies? Why no math is hard when you're an idiot, but Yo, I take back everything I said about Pokemon, bro. She is not she's not her bro. Broke boy, just say so. This may be if you're a bro with you ain't that there, but a bro things you can say as a successful content creator as it was your audience that No my nigga used to play Fortnite, bro. <laughs> I can't say nothing without these. I got you to the you used to play Fortnite, bro, for a living. I don't wanna hear it position you're in your wealth was accumulated because oh of my gosh calling broke and poor it is charlie to me you were made from these people that you are now shaming despite her massive business failure pokimane's net worth is still in excess of 20 million which shows it gosh <laughs> doesn't matter how rich you are, you can always fall back into sin. Our next candidate proves this even more with a net worth exceeding even that of Pokimane. Who is this then? Falling into a sin which seems to be a Is this XQC? <laughs> dangerous to those with success. Sloth is thought of as extreme laziness. It's one of the only sins that is based on omission rather than action. This video's candidate for Sloth is unique in that his laziness not only hurts himself and his own image, but also hurts other content creators as well. By a essentially stealing XQC, This bro. candidate is XQC, or Felix. Felix is what you would call a React streamer, or someone who creates content by watching other people's content live on he used to play Fortnite. clips themselves watching it, and then monetizes it on YouTube. Now, of course, there are a lot of React streamers, but what makes Felix Flight. stand out I was just talking about you, man. slothful is the fact that he offers so little additional content during his reactions. 95% of the time, it's just him just watching it. He watches the content, and the other 5% of the time, he laughs or says a small descriptive comment. In some particularly bro. egregious cases, they really are niggas, bro. These niggas, they're getting their bag off that, bro. Like, I'll be seeing those reaction videos, like Corey Kenshin and all that, bro. Like, do something else and they don't even be like laughing to the video or nothing but this is a whole other level like he don't talk he don't so wow. play a video then leave the room allow the video to play and then come back when it's all skipping is fucking insane but uh yeah finished and still monetize the content on youtube in the case of xqc it seemed like justice had been done because his youtube channel was it got copyrighted copyright violations but then was shortly reinstated to see which YouTubers represent the seven deadly sins. Dang, bro. Hey, that was a W video, though. I didn't get back to my boy, but...